Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining the Holy Ark. Alright, so we are on the fourth floor, and there looks like there are going to be some one-way passages or things that are blocking our path, and starting off right with a uh, hammer ghoul, so give me a second to skip him. Alright, so not a problem at all. And who's leveling up? Lisa! Levels up to 18. That is always wonderful. Alright, so, yeah, we have these little switches. Which make for one-way paths. We've got a treasure chest here that has the angel's robe. I think that is the is only usable by uh, Melody. Let's let's check. All right. Yep, only Melody. Angel's robe to Melody. Equip that. And what did Melody have? She had. The Saint's Robe, which is what Forte has. So, we have an extra Saint's Robe that we can sell. And that's one of the things I probably should have done a little bit better job, uh, really? Uh, figuring out what treasures were in here that I would need so I didn't have to spend the money on them. But, yeah, six one, half dozen the other. So let me dispose of this ghoul. Yeah, all these fodder fights, all Arthur seems to be doing is power attacking. Not that I'm complaining, because that's, you know, a f hefty bit of damage. So, I, I like that. However, Rhodey seemed to have taken a ridiculous amount of damage. I don't know why, but they did not like Rhodey at all. Alright, so... Heal, and then we'll throw out just an aura for everyone else that's taken a little bit of damage. And... Because everyone's taking a little bit. Alright. And we're gonna keep going. We probably should go that way, but there's actually something else down here that I need to get. That's close to the entrance. That I didn't get, and now I'm stuck. Um, I was about to say, where were my... Leprechauns? Uh, so let me kill the guilt spirit, and then we'll get this treasure, and then come back. Okay. So... Let's have Doyle level up to 16. That's fine. Yeah, I'm actually really disappointed with uh, Doyle. He's not power attacking. He's got, he's got some good strength behind it, but he's not power attacking often at all. And not a Hitari, it's the fake one. So, give me one second. This is just all gonna be battle edits, because every two steps I'm getting into a fight. Alright, so. Done and done. And what we want is this. And that's an elixir. And as you can see, there's a hole in the floor here. It's like, yay, hole in the floor, which means nothing. Because that's not the hole in the floor we want. But this will take us down to the next floor. So what we need to do is get over to where the second treasure is. And then we're going to... Or the last treasure, actually. Uh, and then we are going to fall there. Which, in order to get there, I... I kind of need to go around my ass to get to my elbow, kind of. It's it's a weird... We need to come over here. And so we need to not fall down there. We need to go up here. And then there's that exit. And then there's going to be a Naga in front of us. Just what we wanted to deal with. So let me dispose of it. Uh, one thing I forgot. Nagas can summon Mad Muscles. So... That can artificially uh, increase the length of a fight. Alright, so what we need is to come over here. And there's a hole there, and that's actually the hole we are going to be dropping down, because that should uh, drop us on the uh, Ray of Hope that I wanted to get on the floor below. But the last treasure here is a fairy named Primrose. Primrose Everdeen! Uh, no. Uh, no. No. Just no. Hunger Games reference. Not something 
that needs to happen, Shining the Holy Ark. Alright, so we will drop down here. This side over here is actually close to where we need to go anyway to get to uh, the next stairs. So, but since we're already here, we're just going to fall down. And we'll get the treasure chest. And... Light of Hope. That's... yeah. That's just too worthwhile of a, a treasure. Alright, um... And now I don't know how to get back to where I was. Since this is technically a new section of the map, I'll leave this bit in. Mostly because I need to figure out how to get to where I was. Um, I think I can go... I, was say, I think I can go down? Uh, yeah, I can go... I should be able to go down from here. I think. Yeah, yeah, I can go down. Alright, so let me kill this and uh, we'll get back upstairs. I'll just actually, you know, I'll just go ahead and skip to back to the fourth floor. Alright, so I'm back here on the fourth floor. Uh, that's the hole I dropped down. There's a lever here. Let's pull the lever. Pull the lever, crunk! Wrong lever! Alright, so that opens the stairs for us to go up, which we kind of need. So... Now what we need to do is get to said stairs, which I think we can go this way or not. That I do not realize that's where I was. So how do I get there? I uh, do I have to go. I think I gotta go through this main room, and of course I keep getting into these fights. There's so many fights on the way here. I don't want to do it. <sighs> Alright, give me a moment. Okay, so that... That's a thing that happened. I had another uh, summon from Blaze. So that was fun. And Arthur hits 19. Even better. And we learn attack magic. Arthur can now boost his attack even higher. Alright, so we need to go back into this main room, I believe. Oh, goody, we're gonna have... We're gonna have one of these things. Hester. Re or Prester, excuse me. I'm gonna not show this, this is pointless. So, yeah, those are just... They're, they're kind of pointless at this uh, stage in the game. The only thing is, they have breath attacks, which, again, breath defense means absolutely nothing. And spiritual level two, which is that that is that her killing spell or is that her resur? That okay, so she has basically D soul level two now. So uh, we're gonna throw out praying level three. And have everyone heal. It's been a little while since I've done that. All right, that's good. And so we're in this main room. And I believe we need to go this way. And then down. Yeah, because we need to go here. And go there, not fall down that hole. That's basically the gimmick to the sections. Just don't fall down the holes. Because uh, we're going to have this one here. And then we want to go this way. And hey, look! It's our ghosty friend! Yeah, just, just kind of... Oh, what the hell? The ghost tricked us! He lied to us! He wanted us to get attacked! That is... that is not alright. That's not alright. Alright, let me kill these guys. I'll be back in a second. Okay. And we got an iron claw. Do we already have an iron claw? I think we already have... Yeah, I think we already have an Iron Claw. Or something better. Yeah, Iron Claw kind of sucks. Yeah, that's... I mean, we'll keep it for money, but... 
I'm also running out of space on everyone. I should probably start using some of these potions that I don't really need. Uh, but I also should use the, uh, the power-up items that I have that I don't necessarily need. Uh, let's see. That'll clear up a couple of spaces. Um, who needs increased attack? Arthur's at 303. Rhodey's at 217. Basso, 254. Uh, 223. I kind of want to increase Lisa, because she's going to get some useful attack, and I'm probably going to be using her a lot. Um... Yeah, um... No, I don't... I didn't want to do that. I want to use items. I don't want to... So, did I, I gave that to Lisa. So let's have Lisa use that by five. Not a bad increase. Let's see. Protect Milk. Who could use a little bit more defense? Uh, let's see. Rhodey is at 168. He's the lowest. 163, 168, 142. Um, I mean, there's really not going to be much defense-wise for him. So let's, let's go ahead and give it to Doyle. Alright, and we go up the stairs, and we are on the fifth floor of the Tower of Illusion. And... where am I? Alright, that's where I am? Okay. This floor looks pretty straightforward, so let's just... do what we gotta do here, and then get the hell out. Watch it not be straightforward. Watch there be something that I'm missing. Alright. Come over here, check the wall. And we are going to get a leprechaun. And there are only three treasures here. Leprechaun is one of them. So, like I said, we're going to get the treasures we can. And then... Go up to the, this is actually the uh, the way to get to the top floor or not the top floor but the sixth floor seventh floor is the top floor but yeah uh, this way takes us up there is no stairs at the moment because we haven't found the switch so we'll be coming back here and what am I getting into a fight with mad muscles yay mad muscles give me a sec all right that was not actually terribly threatening at all. Alright, so I need to go down this way, actually. And this, this treasure, that statue there is where another treasure is. And really, really, a hammer ghoul? Alright, give me one second. Alright, so that distraction is done. And Forte levels up to nine, so not bad. His stats are great. I'm still disappointed that I didn't get all of his spells but working on it. And energy bread. And now we need to go up. So basically back here and then up this way to get the last treasure. And of course, a pointless fodder battle. I hate running away from them because I love the XP and money. But this is getting a little silly now, guys, so one sec. Because, yeah, about half the video thus far is, uh, footage I'm not going to use. So, and then the last treasure here is a healing rain. So that is good to have. And now I need to find the switch. And that's really the last thing stopping me from being done with this section. Uh, that's where we came from. And I guess it's the center? There's some center section here. I don't see anything that looks like... What would be the, the key to going up? Oh, here. 
Alright, so we have that. Where is... Alright, I don't know where this is. So the last shard is on the upper floor, but I don't know how to get to the upper floor. And I have now pretty much explored everything on this section. Yeah, and now I don't know how to get to the upper floor. Um, what am I missing? This is this is beyond frustrating. All right, because what I need. I think what I need is on, like, the second floor. Arthur, check the floor. There's a base relief carving of a full moon there. Piece of the relief is missing. Yeah, that's the lunar shard. I needed to get that on the second floor. So give me... Oh, God. Give me a lot of time. Because <laughs> we're going to have to go all the way back to the beginning. Because I did not get the lunar shard. I didn't think we could get the lunar shard yet. That is on the second floor. Uh, so let's get that real quick. And it's gonna be up these stairs. Over here. Arthur, check the floor. There's a base relief of the sun there. And Lunar Shard. I hate these shards. Alright, so what we need to do is work our way back up to the top. I really don't want to do that. I really don't, and I don't have a lot of time to do that. Um, so screw it, we are going to, uh, we're going to leave. Uh, so that we can recover our HP and MP, we'll sell a bunch of the stuff that we've got, because, yeah, there, there really is no point in trying to go all the way up there. We don't, I don't have the time to finish that section and then do everything else that needs to be done. Because what we need to do is there, there are three treasures on the second floor that we haven't got because we can't get them because there's water there. We use the lunar shard up at the top. That opens up the last floor for us that we can use the uh, another the solar shard that we need to get and that'll clear out the water and that's how that's basically how everything goes all right so we can sell the gauntlet uh, we can sell the mirror plate Uh, we have a claw somewhere that we don't need. We can sell the fairy powder. We don't really need the fairy powder. Uh, we'll sell the claw. And was there anything else? Oh yeah, we don't need her battle armor. And... We have a extra robe that we don't need. I can also sell the, uh, the evil ring. I don't need it. It raises attack, uh, and I think it can be used to cast a spell, but uh, I, I don't need it at the moment. It's, it's taking up valuable space. Alright, so what I need to do is... Uh, did I buy weapons? I don't think I bought any one weapon. Uh, great sword, runic axe, battle claw. Or did I buy weapons? I didn't. So Lisa can get a new, uh, and I also haven't upgraded everyone's armor. And that's actually not a bad axe. 
Let's... Let's see what armor I haven't got. Um... Yeah. Holy plate. I didn't buy a holy plate for... Yeah, I didn't buy one for Basso. He could use one. So, and then that's the one I didn't buy. And what else have I not bought for anyone? Uh, runic Brace, Great Shield, Iga Glove, Magic Circlet, Goblin Helm. Let's see, Runic Brace can be used by... What does she have that has higher defense and breath defense? Alright, so I got a Runic Brace for basically everyone other than Basso. Uh, shield for Arthur. Let's see, Iga Glove. Oh, uh, I'll buy three Ega Gloves. Because... Uh, oh, crap. That's right. Everyone... Oh, screw it. I'll deal with this later. Uh, I'll just go ahead and end this episode here, and I will see you guys in the next installment. I'll just come back to where I was at the, the top of the tower. So until then, later, everyone. <laughs>